Hey, I know why you're frustrated, right? Don't go nowhere. I'm about to help you with your frustration. Part of your frustration is because your athlete is frustrated. And you don't want your baby to be frustrated. So that's frustrating you because they're frustrated. Does that make sense? But the reason and the cause for both of you all's frustration is your athlete is missing a point. They're missing a point. See, in education, be it basketball and or life, there are steps. There are steps to learning. There are steps to greatness. And your athlete is missing a step. The first step is introduction, being introduced to something, right? Is your athlete being introduced to the game in a certain way? And after they're introduced to something, right, then they have to be taught it. And then once they be taught it, once once they're taught it, then they can be coached on it. So your athlete is missing the most pivotal step. That's the teaching part. So your athlete may have been introduced to something, but then they immediately start getting coached on it, but they've never been taught it. So let's just take a right hand layup. Your athlete is being introduced to what a layup is. Does that make sense? They're being introduced on what a layup is. The importance of a layup, why you shoot a layup, when you shoot a layup. But then it automatically goes from that point to introduction to the coaching. Coach getting mad, the coach screaming, the coach hollering. The coach be raiding them, making them feel uh, like this because they're missing layups. But now they're getting coached on it. And the coach is trying to say, well, do this, do this. But they've never been taught it. So it's, a, it's an academic gap. It's a learning gap. Because they've never been taught it. They've never been taught, okay, take your one and a half steps and shoot the ball on stride, right? Get that knee to that chest, get that chin up, get the eyes, your eyes on the backboard and lay the ball up. They've never been taught that. They've just been coached on it. And so what a lot of coaches are doing, they're introducing things to your athletes and then they're just coaching them. So the steps are introduction, teaching, and then coaching. Introduction, teaching, and then coaching. And that coaching is at the end, but understand this. All coaches aren't good teachers. So that's why a lot of athletes are missing that middle part. Because a lot of coaches think it goes from just introduction to coaching. It goes from introduction to teaching to coaching. Once you get introduced to it, then you have to be taught how to do it. And then you have to be coached on it. Introduction, teaching, coaching. But most coaches aren't teaching. And your athlete is getting frustrated because of that. Because they're being told to do something or asked to do something that they've never been taught how to do. And that's driving their self-esteem down. That's driving their confidence down. That's driving down their ability to work at the most optimal level. And so now you come sit in the stands and they're not, not operating to their best potential and it's frustrating you. Because you see them frustrated. You see their confidence lowering once they miss a shot or it's a turnover. And now the coach is hollering ready to take them out. And you see your baby just totally imploding from the inside out. And now you're frustrated. And you think that the best thing for you to do is go find them another coach, move them to another team. And that individual is doing the same thing. Now they're introducing things and just coaching. And some coaches don't even introduce things. They just immediately coach because they think that all athletes already know how to do certain things. The athlete is frustrated because they haven't been taught how to do something. Less known why they should do it. So they're getting frustrated and that's frustrating you. So listen, be more aware, be more aware. And you as the coach, 
as, as the parent, you may not be able to dictate to the coach what they do, but understand it's your responsibility as a parent to help their frustration and to ease your frustration. And the best way to do that is to put them with a coach that can help that blind spot, that thing that they're not getting. And that's what we do at Hoops Master University. We help your athlete uncover that blind spot. We help teach them the game. And by helping teaching them the game, we're teaching them the skills, the attributes, the resources, the knowledge that they need that can also be transferable on the court. So we're teaching them life, but then it's transferable on the court. I just wanted to drop that on you real quick. If you know that your athlete is not being taught, if you know they're not being taught what you wait on. They, it's being introduced to them and they're being coached, but they miss being taught. All right. So listen, that's it. I got to go. I can help you out. Get your athlete the right teacher. And that's what we do at Who's Master University. So if you know your athlete needs that help, right? Click the link. If it's a link anywhere, I'm not sure, even if it's a B1. But if it's one, you better click the link because everybody won't have the opportunity to be taught like they can be taught in Who's Master University. All right, Coach Bailey, I'm out. Think about it. Those three points. Your athlete is missing that middle one. I can almost promise you they're missing that middle one. They ain't been taught. Get your athlete the education that they need to be able to help with the skills that they desire. All right, I'll holla.